Hi again, Blue Jacket fans. Uh, welcome to Jackets TV presented by Ohio Health and uh, this week's segment with uh, Vinny Prospel, our one on one. And uh, Vinny, first of all, uh, congratulations. Uh, welcome to Columbus and uh, for you a chance to bring some of that leadership here to the Blue Jackets Hockey Club. I mean, thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm just, uh, you know, very, very excited to be part of this organization and very, very fortunate to find a job. I mean, it's it's getting tougher and tougher for the older guys. and. Uh, that's that's the way it goes sometimes. So I'm uh, I'm very very happy to be here. You're being somewhat modest. Uh, you're a guy that uh, certainly has been success on the ice and uh, provide leadership uh, uh, off the ice as we've yeah. seen here in your limited time here with Columbus. Well, it's uh, that's the way it is, I guess. Right now, I mean, obviously, we uh, we have some guys that may may not be as vocal. You know, we have uh, we have a lot of players that may uh, just you know kind of tiptoe around the locker room, don't know what to say at the right time or if they actually should say something. So it's, uh, I think it's up to the older guys to basically kind of try to calm the group and or say the right thing, you know, in the, in the locker room at a certain time or do it on the ice. Now, you had a chance uh, to play in Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, you've been uh, a winner wherever you were in New York, uh, uh, certainly Tampa, Anaheim. I mean, uh, where of all the places that you've played through your earlier part in your career, have you enjoyed it the most? Well, we have a home in Tampa. I mean, I, I've been there. Uh, I uh, I've been there three times, you know, over the course of ten years, <laughs> and uh, so we basically uh, kind of, you know, we're thinking we're gonna be living there when I'm uh, when I'm done with the hockey career. We want our kids to follow the education in the United States and. Uh, and uh, I think it's a, it's a nice, uh, nice city, a nice place to, to spend the retirement or at least uh, live up to the retirement. So, uh, um, you know, I, I think with, uh, when I first got to Tampa and with all the, all the growth and leading up to the, you know, Stanley Cup championship, uh, that 2004 team and, and continue afterwards with the coach John Tortorella, I think I, I would have to, I would enjoy you know, so far, looking back at my career, I would enjoy my time there the most. All right, tell me your biggest thrill in hockey. Well, the biggest thrill, I mean, there could be a couple of them. The, obviously, you know, as a, as a child growing up, trying to, uh, to make it and, uh, and be a professional hockey player, I would say, uh, you know, when I got the call to, uh, that, uh, you know, instead of playing for the Philadelphia Phantoms, I'll be playing for the Philadelphia Flyers that night. And uh, I guess uh, the other ones would be uh, winning the world championships with, uh, for my country when, uh, when the season was over or when there was no season actually in 2005. Uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty good uh, world championship in, uh, in Austria and we ended up winning it as a country. All right, most embarrassing moment in hockey. <laughs> well, I... Uh, <laughs> It's tough. I'm pretty sure there was some embarrassment on my part, but uh, I, I can't just, uh, you know, on top of your head pick something that I would really feel that badly about. But, uh, you know, I'm still here, so I, I shouldn't be embarrassed. I'm still playing. That sounds good. That's good enough for us. Uh, who's had the biggest influence on your hockey career? Well, we could we could spread that in, uh, in certain parts. Obviously, uh, when I was a... Uh, when I was a kid, I had it. Uh, I had it a lot easier because my my dad was playing, so he uh, he took me to the rink with him, and uh, and hockey was kind of in my in my genes. So I uh, I just grew up with that. And then uh, I always will remember one uh, one coach in Czech Republic. His name was uh, Franciszek Czech. That's how you pronounce it in my language. And he was really really good to me. Like he, you know, I. Every time I think about him, I always have a smile on my uh, on my face because he helped me out in the early years. And then, uh, you know, once I got here, I think Billy Barber was a big influence on me when he took over the Phantoms and then uh, John Tortorella because I, I think uh, I spent the most time playing under him in the NHL. So, uh, you know, obviously, I think uh, he, for some reason, even though he's a, you know, Sometimes people think he's crazy, but with me, <laughs> he, uh, he kind of know how to push the right buttons. 
Well, uh, there must be some interest for you aside uh, from hockey when you get away yeah. from the rink. What are they? Well, first of all, it's a family. I'm, like I said again, I'm very, very fortunate to have a beautiful family, three, three kids. You know, we all, we all healthy. I have to knock it on the teeth. And, uh, and we get to travel around, you know, we get to see the, we get to see all the, a lot of beautiful, uh, lot of beautiful towns. And so we spend a lot of time together in the off season, but I love to go uh, fishing, golfing, playing tennis, you know, all kinds of stuff or, you know, go mountain biking with them. But, uh, but like I said, we are very, very fortunate because we can live in the United States and after a season and after the school year, we can go home to Czech Republic, see, all of our family and uh, and you get to experience different lifestyle you know you don't have to be embarrassed about all the different teams you played for in the national <laughs> yeah. hockey league there's a former blue jacket by the name of mike sillinger who's played yeah, you may I have know. played with mike yeah, who's played, played with, for more yeah. with more teams and been traded more than any other I player know. in the nhl yeah well it's uh, that's the way it goes i guess sometimes it uh, it shows uh, versatility, you know, that you can play in different spots for different teams. And, and provide leadership, exactly, as you've done here exactly. in Columbus. Exactly. Sometimes, uh, you know, the, uh, the younger teams are looking for uh, somebody who can, uh, who can basically uh, help grow with, uh, with, the, with the kids that are being put in the NHL right now. And it shows that the older guys are not as bad as uh, most people think. Thanks for this. Uh, we enjoy the personality, and of course, I go back a long way with you earlier on in your career, yeah. and uh, it's great to see you here in a Blue Jacket jersey. Silly was there with us back then. That's right. Yeah. He was on that team. <laughs> but then he got traded. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Vinny Prospel is uh, this week's one-on-one -on -one here on Jackets TV, presented by Ohio Health. Join us again for another edition of One-on-One. -on -One.